Barcelona, for the first time since 2019, are the champions of Spain again. And they have done it with four games to spare. Xavi Hernandez was appointed as part of a project to restore Barcelona's luster. And he has delivered in his first full season in charge. They know that there is a long road back to the heights of the Pep Guardiola era. And in truth, they never be as good as that. They never be as dominant or as beautiful as that. But Barcelona are rebuilding and they are doing it from a position of strength again. Get that champagne open, because Barcelona are the champions for 2022-23. And they've won it at their city rivals, Espanyol. It's finished in El Prat, Espanyol 2, Barcelona 4. So there you have it, FC Barcelona have won their 27th La Liga title, the first La Liga title for Xavi since taking over. And that man right there, Sergio Busquets, as he bows out from the club, he will depart by lifting the trophy as captain for the very first and last time. We heard Sam say there, Xavi, that we should break out the champagne. I imagine you have it somewhere in the studio hiding here, right? We're going to have to break it out. I think Jens probably going to duck out before you start pouring the glasses, but it really is a tremendous this week considering everything that this club has gone through over the last several years. Exactly, Sembra. It was a season that the main objective is it was winning something and possibly not the nicest way uh, in terms of how good the team has played. A lot of one one nil and a, a lot of clean sheets. So Barcelona, if something they have improved this season is defensively, which is a huge step for the club and for the team. Uh, but the objective it was that is to win a trophy. Uh, well, they needed this La Liga trophy and I think today they show how good they are, how capable they are to play good football. It's not always been this way, but I think they've been very solid. To win something you need to be good in attack, but mainly you need to concede very few goals. Uh, fantastic, 12 goals again during uh, the season and, and well, they found the balance that they didn't have the last seasons. And congratulations to Barcelona. An enormous game of football, great first half, 45 minutes has been enough. Mm. And uh, I think that they deserve it. They deserve it tonight. They deserve it over the season. There we see the circle getting wider and wider. There's more of the coaching staff and everybody behind the scenes joins in on the fun here. Unfortunately, they don't have the fans to celebrate with tonight. That will come next week when they return home to the Spotify Cup. Now, but for now, they won't mind it all because they're absolutely loving this moment. They're reveling in this moment. And they're now running off the pitch, as we see there. So uh, heading their way down the tunnel, of course, Espanyol will be very disappointed to have had Barcelona won on their turf. But right, we're going to take a very quick break. We'll analyze the match as soon as we return. Stick around.